this is the introduction to yourself video or the test video. And all the purpose of this video is, is so that I can see you, and get to meet you in a video format and to make sure that you know how to upload a video or record a video on the platform I've given you in the course calendar. Just wanna make sure. So you're going first to the discussion board and you're gonna answer those questions. You know, uh, what is your field of study? Why did you choose this? I can't think of the other one. Uh, what could you physically not live without? All right, so you're gonna type that up and you're gonna submit that to the discussion board. But keep that and save it as an attachment. Because when you make your video, you're going to make the video and send it to me or submit it, post it to me. And then you're also going to attach the answers that you gave on your discussion board assignment. So it's pretty simple. It's, it's not that hard. And, and just have fun with it. Have fun with it. And I just want to make sure what, what we're checking on is to make sure that you know how to record. And I'm sure you do know how to record things. Make sure that everything looks well. The lighting is well. The volume is well. There's nothing distracting. There's no dog in the background. A lot of times students have, uh, they're in a room and they'll have the ceiling fan going. Or they're laying on the bed in their, don't do that, don't do that. Now, you know, don't do that. As you know from the course calendar, everything that you do, all the videos you send to me, you have to be wearing business professional or business casual. So gentlemen, I can't naturally demonstrate women's dress, but nice shirt, sport jacket, that's what I'm looking for. Ladies, you know how to dress up. If you were going to a professional job interview, or if you were going to a church maybe, or a, a nice evening out, something like that, dress up, dress up. Don't be too revealing, but dress up so you look sharp. Because you and I now, especially you, you're in a world where you're in competition, not just with people from the United States, but from all over the world. And you're gonna be presenting this. You're gonna doing, be doing online uh, resumes and online interviews. Well, you have to look sharp because you only have three to five seconds to make an impression. And if you don't make a good impression in the first three to five seconds, it's almost impossible to regain. So dress up. All you have to do is dress up, sit in front of the camera, put on a nice sport jacket, a nice shirt. You don't have to wear a tie if you don't want to. If you want to, that'd be great. Ladies, you know what to dress, you know, nice, nice. In fact, I've given you a handout on what professional dress is. So dress up. And only from the waist up. If you're sitting down, I don't care what you're wearing below your waist, but just make sure, unless you're standing up, then dress professional, okay? And you can look at some of the videos that I have in the, uh, in the, in the um, folders, in the lesson folders, and you can see they're given speeches, and some people do actually stand up, and they look sharp, they look nice, but dress up, all right? So let's go with an example of what you're going to be sending me, and don't worry about the time, don't worry about all that, don't worry, you know, is it, per it doesn't have to be perfect. Just all we're looking for is, did you have a good video? Did you go through those steps? That's it, was the sound good? That's all, there's no grade. There's no pressure, there's none of that. Just make sure you send it to me on time because this is important too. You have to get it in and on time also. So get those in and uh, let's go through one. Let's go through it. In fact, I'm gonna do one just like what you are going to do, except I won't have the, uh, the attachment to show you on this. So anyway, here we are. So the questions uh, that you're going to be asking is, the first one is, and I'm reading this script right here because I don't have it in front of me, is what is my field of study? Well, I guess you can, I am sure you can guess. My field of study is communication. And why do I choose that field of work or study? Well, I'll tell you why, because I love to communicate. I love to talk, I love to meet people, I love all that. So that's why when I was a student, I chose communication, actually. Actually, I'm visual and performing arts. Part of my degree was in theater, and my master's was in visual and performing arts, which was film and television also. And I used to work in film and television. So I have a background in that. If you've ever heard of the Family Channel, 
I was a producer and a director of the Family Channel at one point before I became a professor. So, okay, what could I not live without? Well, let me tell you, physically, I could not live without air or water. Neither could you. None of us could. That's physical. I don't, you know. But anyway, emotionally, though, I could not live without love and belonging and friendship. Those are very important. And you know, right now with COVID going on, I feel kind of isolated from most people because we just, we don't get to talk to one another as much as we did. And we have to stand six feet apart and we have to wear a mask. It's kind of fun going to the bank though, wearing a mask and asking for money because I can pretend I'm a bank robber or something. I'm not, but you know, it's kind of fun to pretend once in a while. All right, uh, let's see. Where do I work? Well, can you guess where I work? I work at TCC, Tarrant County College, that is, and I'm a professor of communication. Kind of goes along with what I chose for my career path. And what I love to do is communicate, all right? Now, what are some things that I like to do? Well, I love to travel. I've traveled all over the world. I've lived in many different places. I've lived in Russia. I've lived in Germany. I've lived in Spain. I've lived many places. Oh, wait, I shouldn't say Germany. Poland. I've lived in Poland, Lithuania, Russia, Spain, the United States. I guess that's about it. Never lived in Germany. Been to Germany. Been to Germany. Been to all the Switzerland and all those other countries, Italy and all that, Greece, Turkey, all those places. But I've never lived there. But the other places I have actually lived. I lived in Russia for a whole year. It was a, quite an experience, quite an experience. So I love to travel. I also like to ride my bike, love to ride my bike. It's so hot now, though. Ooh. But anyway, I still love to ride my bike. I have to get up real early in the morning and ride as soon as it gets light so I don't just die of sweat and, and heat stroke. And I also love to swim. So when it's hot outside, I dive in the pool. And swim. I don't have a pool myself, but where I live, we have a community pool. And so that's nice. Now, there's three words. What three words describe you? And give me details about that. All right. The first word I would say is I'm energetic. Well, maybe you can tell I really am kind of energetic and my students think I'm kind of crazy and really out there. And I am. And I love to have fun. So um, energetic would be the first one. I'm very energetic. The next word is inquisitive. Oh, I'm very inquisitive. I love to learn. And that's why I love teaching this class because I learn from, there's not just one professor in this class because all of you are professors. You're going to teach me something. Whatever it is, you're going to teach me about whatever your choice is of your informative or your persuasive speech. I learned so many things from you. It's amazing how much I can learn. So I'm very inquisitive and I want to find out and learn as much as I can. And I, it's, I can't tell you how much I enjoy that and how much I've learned. And let me tell you, when I go and I, when we're able to be with people and we're in conversation, oh man, I can bring up topics and talk about this and that and have information all about it, even statistics and all that. Okay. And the last word is wonder, wonder, because I always wonder what's coming next. I never imagined we would be online. I would be teaching you online. That's wonder. I wonder what's coming next. Will COVID be over by January so we can go back into the classroom? Where did this come from? What's happening with it? Is there going to be a vaccine? I wonder. I'm filled with wonder. And the wonder of the world we live in and the wonder of each of you being so unique and so different. That's what I wonder. So those three words really describe me. And when you do your speech, tell us your name at the beginning of the speech. I forgot to do that. I'm Professor John Parrish, as you know. But anyway, do that at the beginning and just have fun with this little assignment. It's fun. And all we're looking for is that you could submit it to me 
and that you could submit your answers to your question. Make sure you submit them on your discussion board because that's how I take attendance. But that's it. And just do that. And there's nothing else to do. Have fun. Have a great day. Have a great week. And we're on to the next assignment, which is the narrative speech and then the informative. I hope you have your topics for your informative and your persuasive already, and I've approved them. Probably by now you have. But anyway, all right. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.